I have powers that I know my electric's gonna run out. <laughs> what are you saying? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day. Today is Saturday, so I thought it'd be quite cool to show you what I eat on a weekend. And I'm gonna be going to the gym and training my upper body and doing cardio. So I thought I'd take you guys with me and show you what I do. If you don't know me, my name is Louise. I have lost 120 pounds and I have done that through calorie counting and exercising, eating healthy, just being a healthier person, basically. Through making sustainable, healthy lifestyle changes and I've completely transformed my life. So I'll be showing you what I eat right now. At the minute, I'm not actually trying to lose weight. I'm trying to maintain my weight and actually build muscle. But what I eat is exactly the same as what I was eating when I was cutting. It's just a little bit more. I, I wanted to make that clear that, you know, I haven't actually made any changes to actually what I eat. Maybe I might have a few extra calories to play around with, have a treat here and there, you know what I mean? Quick disclaimer before we start, what I eat is is what I eat. It's not me telling you that my diet is the perfect diet in the world. I am not a personal trainer. I have no, um, yet. I'm not a personal trainer yet because I do want to actually become one. And I'm not a nutritionist. I have no qualifications. This is just what works for me. And I'm not saying that what works for me will definitely work for you. It's just an entertainment video. You can see, you know, a little glimpse into my, my daily life and what I eat. And just to show you that you can actually eat proper normal foods. You don't have to cut down on fruits. Fructose won't kill you. Carbs won't make you fat. At the end of the day, it's calories in, calories out. That's all that matters. So yeah, I've got my coffee. Obviously got to start my day with coffee and I'm having French toast. Like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, so that's it. <laughs> so we're making French toast. So in here I have got 180 grams of egg whites, sweetener, cinnamon, vanilla, and I've mixed it up and soaked it with two slices of regular ass bread. Um, if you want to know exactly how I make this and watch me step by step, I will link a video down below of my what I eat in a day where I make this. And I am actually going to be starting to do recipe videos just for each recipe and I'm gonna be doing that on my members only when I set that up. That's exciting. Yeah, I just use this fry light. I prefer the sweet coconut fry light. 50 grams of blueberries in like that. And then that will fry up a little bit. Let this continue to soak up. And I'll plop the French toast on the pan on top of the blueberries, flip it until it's all cooked. And I'll put it on, on a plate and I'm gonna to top with some raspberries and banana and peanut butter this is P pb fit so just this which you can get in any supermarket or online it's just pb fit peanut butter powder mix that with water to make a lower calorie higher protein peanut butter uh, it just saves you on the calories obviously normal peanut butter is completely fine it's just higher in calorie and you know we like the low calorie dense foods to keep us full you know what i mean so and i'll also be topping it with some salted caramel skinny syrup you can go out buy these on skinnyfoodco.com use code louise15 i'm joking i'm really not sponsored <laughs> but they should i feel like they should every every single video i show you guys this but anyway i've got my coffee so i'm gonna quickly make that and i'll show you when it's all done my breakfast french toast uh. <laughs> obviously if you guys have been watching my channel you know i love my french toast loads of protein tastes like cake bro i'm not even joking if you've tried french toast comment below out of 10 how much has changed your life and your breakfast game i literally even have it for lunch sometimes so i'm just having that with some juice i use um the juice i have is vimto sugar-free one I love it, I'm addicted. Literally, Nando sauce, Vimto, sugar-free, Pepsi Max, coffee, French toast. I'm telling you now, they're all my addictions. <laughs> it's nearly nine o'clock, so I'm gonna eat this. And around 10 o'clock, I'm meeting my friend at the gym. Uh, she wants me to show her kind of what exercises to do. She don't really know what to do in the gym yet. So I'm gonna show her. We're gonna be doing upper body. I've done a lot of legs and glutes um, this week. Um, they're very sore. So I'm just gonna do a bit of upper body, back, you know, just everything. Uh, <laughs> everything upper body, just have a bit of fun and do cardio. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I would do. You guys always ask me to show you an upper body routine or what I do for my upper body. 
everybody. So I think it'll be quite fun. I think it'll be quite cool. I'm excited to show you. I'll come back when it's time to take my pre-workout. Probably take that in the car and we'll see you then. I'm gonna take my pre-workout. I have a full scoop now. No, I don't know whether I feel it or not. Apparently I talk faster when I've had it and like I seem a little bit more hyper so maybe it does a lot more than what I think it does. But I think I'm caffeine intolerant. I have too much caffeine. I drink so much caffeine. I drink loads of coffee and this and I feel like I definitely, I definitely don't get the tingling or anything like that that people say that they get. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe caffeine intolerant, but. Mm. Am I doing it wrong or? And this pre-workout taste powdery. People are like, oh yeah, I love the taste pre-workout. Well, this one, fruit punch. It, it just tastes like watered down juice. Like I like my juice like strong. Like, I don't like it watered down. It literally tastes like watered down juice. But yeah, that's that. That's that. Done. So I'm gonna get in the oh I'll get in the car. I'm already in the car. And I'm gonna quickly just go and meet my friend at the gym and get this workout started. <laughs> so yeah, I finished the gym, went to Tesco with Ashley. She stopped me from giving in to my temptations. Yeah, they've got Krispy Kremes in there as well. And you know, it's kind of hard. I've been craving Krispy Kremes for like ages. Because I'm quite peckish, I picked up um, some smoky bacon. No, sm smoky barbecue chicken bites. It's nine grams of protein and 97 calories. And some pineapple and of some 
Pepsi Max. So I'm gonna snack on that and we're gonna go home and it is now half 12, so it is basically lunchtime. I'm gonna have some lunch. Right, so I just wanted to apologize that I did actually want to make a different lunch today than what I've made on my What I Eat In A Days in the past. But as you can see, I am having a chicken salad. Right, I'm sorry. I have eggs this time. I literally just had like loads of bags of salad in the fridge that I need to use and a packet of chicken. And I also feel really hungry, like I want a big lunch. I think it's so easy and quick to make a massive salad and that's why I always have it. Uh, but I added eggs this time, so that's different. I think, oh shit. Just in case you're wondering what's inside my salad, I use a, I use a whole bag of this baby leaf and rocket salad. The chicken I used, just normal packaged peri peri chicken. And also I have cucumber, red pepper, onion, red onion, salad tomato, jalapenos, and that's it, I think. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I have in there. So it's quite simple, but it makes like a big salad and it keeps you full for a long time. And you get loads of protein, especially for the egg, the egg is nice. Um, but yeah, I wanted to quickly go through my workout, what I did. So at the gym today, like that wasn't like a planned, a pre-planned workout, but that's what I would do, if that makes sense. When I'm going to do upper body, try to aim for three to five set of eight to 12 reps um, of each exercise I do. I try and do it a lot to failure. I train my legs differently because of my back and my hips. I can't really go to failure all the time, but with what I can, I do, if that makes sense. Quite fun to work out with someone else. It takes a longer time because of see you know what I mean but yeah you know what I mean and then for the cardio that I did I just went on the treadmill and I basically walk for a couple of minutes just to warm up and then I put the incline up all the way to the top and go to a seven a speed seven now I just want to say like in the UK a speed seven is fast but it's not like running and I know that's different in different countries like a few people have said to me that speed seven eight is like sprinting <laughs> I think it's like measured differently so it's in kilometers per hour i think i don't know it doesn't say on the machine i speed it up so it's like a very fast walk and then i go right to the top incline and then i walk on that for like 15 minutes and then the next 10 minutes i try and increase the speed as much as i can depending on how much energy i have so i try and get to an eight uh, i just cool down for the, the rest of the five minutes and that's kind of my cardio what i would normally do is go on the elliptical you know that machine that goes like that <laughs> but i would normally go on that for 30 minutes but where the gym session today just took such a long time i i needed to leave Honestly, I didn't include push-ups, but I do push-ups daily, so... I've been slacking on them recently, but what I normally would aim for is I try to do minimum three sets every day, so three sets of push-ups every single day. Unless I'm really sore and I can't do it, then I know, you know, I have a rest. But I do three sets of however many I can do till failure, basically, so... So I'm gonna finish this, and I think I'm gonna take the kids out, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> I'm going for a walk. I already have got my steps in. It's five o'clock. I've got the kids' food in the oven and their dad is obviously with them. I already took them to the park, came home, had a coffee and some what's it. I decided to, you know, come for a walk. Basically, I have like an electric meter key thing, right? So every time I go to leave the house here, yeah, I have the electric key like by the door inside where the keys go. There's been times where I go to leave and I'm like, oh, I feel like I need to, like, I get a feeling to tell me that I need to put the electric, go, go buy electric, it's gonna run out. And I'm like, nah, it'll be all right. And then the electric goes that same day and it's happened so many times. And then the other day I got that feeling again and I was like, oh, and I said, Rashan, I think the electric's gonna go out. I don't know, I just got that feeling. And then he was like, well, get the electric then. And as I was getting my shoes and my jacket on, guess what happened? The electric went. So basically, either I'm a witch or I have like a higher self telling me or guardian angel telling me they don't want me to go out about electric, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was getting that feeling. So I thought, you know, might as well pop to the shop while I'm out on my walk. So that's what we're gonna do. I have powers that I know my electric's gonna run out. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I wanted to say, because I haven't mentioned this, just in case this is the first video of mine you're watching, I weigh out all my food and I track all my calories on my fitness pal. So that's kind of how I, uh, how I do it. Put my chicken breast in the oven. I weigh it before I cook it and then track it like that. I put some seasoning on there, some paprika and carne. I don't know, people were laughing at me the last time I said it. It's not Kanye. Cayenne? Ka yeah, that, that pepper. Whatever this pepper is. Hold on. 
There you go. I am gonna be frying some green beans. I literally have a whole packet of green beans, a whole packet of tender stem broccoli, and I'm going to be having this oriental stir fry bowl as well. I actually love these, so I'm having the whole packet of that as well. I'm gonna have some cauliflower rice. This is from Iceland, it's just like a microwave bag. You put it in for like three minutes and 40 seconds. It is only 48 calories, so, you know, I do like my rice, but I actually really like this. There's a lot less calories. So if you're trying to cut down on your calories and you like rice, definitely try cauliflower rice. Before I lost weight, I didn't eat vegetables at all. Whereas now I love vegetables and fruit. Instead of frying it in oil, I fry it in fry light. It's a one calorie spray, so it's a calorie per spray. This is the hot and spicy chili oil. It makes it all spicy. I do normally use for this, like the fry, there's like a stir fry one, but that's all gone and I have this. So this is my next one i have loads of different fry lights let me just show you all the different fry lights i have let me just show you so here's all my fry lights so i have butter flavor coconut oil these i like when i make french toast they're, they're the ones my my go-to for french toast or sweet breakfast you know sweet frying sweet stuff sunflower oil olive oil chili oil the stir fry oil so yeah that's all my fry lights so i'm gonna just quickly fry all of this put this in a microwave then my chicken will be done and then i'll show you the end result I'm gonna put some Nando sauce on the top of my dinner, which I'll do that now. I forgot to say for lunch, this is what I put on top of my salad. So I put this on top of everything, yeah. It's spicy, just to let you know, right? And this is garlic flavor. You can get medium, mild, lemon and herb. I ain't here for the lemon and herb or the mild, yeah. I'm here for the medium, hot, extra hot, and the garlic. The garlic one is my favorite, but yes, it's spicy. Calories on it is quite decent. I get asked this a lot. So per serving, which is 20 grams, is 10 calories, and 100 grams is 49 calories. I think it's worth it. It makes my my meals for me like it makes it lovely and delicious and I was addicted to Nando's when I was overweight I feel like it just makes my meals more tasty and more yummy and I enjoy it more but I'm gonna go sit down and eat this I'll show you what it looks like with the sauce on there oh it's a massive bowl I know it's it's a lot of food but I love eating lots of vegetables eating a big meal for dinner helps me from not getting too hungry during the night and not feeling for chocolates and all that stuff. Because recently, especially since I've been lifting weights again and increasing my activity, I have been getting the worst cravings. I'm not even joking. I've got all my kids to bed. I've done my stretching. I'm having a decaf coffee and four rich tea biscuits just to settle down, chill, watch a movie. Sometimes, you know, I've got to have some tea and biscuits in a in the evening. I didn't let that soak long enough. It's got to be softer. And just to let you guys know, I've done 18,518 steps today. I'm just enjoying this biscuit. Let it soak a little bit longer. But you know when you let it soak too long, it falls in the, in the coffee. You gotta let it, you gotta dip it just right. <laughs> do you dip your biscuits, do you dunk it, or do you bite it and then sip? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video by what I eat in a day. This is legit like what I'm eating right now. I'm trying to eat around 2,000 to 2,500 calories. Probably not closer to 2,500, but if I've done a lot of activity that day and I'm extra hungry and I'm filling up on low calorie dense food, but I'm still hungry, I am allowing myself to have other up to 2,500. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. And it seems to be working for me. I've got higher energy now than what I did when I was in the deficit. So that's good. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and give me a... Do they have biscuit emojis? Leave me a biscuit emoji and let me know your favorite biscuit to have with a tea or coffee. And also, do you dunk it? Are you a dunker or not dunk? I feel like I really need to know. I will see you in the next one. Have a lovely day, evening, night, whatever. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. I'll be doing a lot more what I eat in a days and a lot of other helpful videos, useful videos on weight loss and yeah, all that, all that good stuff. So 